In the last video, we learned the importance of the bevel width and bevel segments and both the things depends on the density of the surrounding topology. If you didn't watch that video, then please watch it. Link is in the i button. Your topology is for your design. Your design is not for your topology. It means you should give the first priority to your design and there are different ways to create your design. In this video, we are going to learn how to deal with the different bevel designs with the same model. Let's see if you have a same cylindrical form and you want to create different designs on it. It's not difficult. Easily you can create it. Here I have these three different cylinder and I have created same cutter object for these three different cylinder. You can see. Select this objects and use the boolean operation difference at there. Now select all these cutter objects and apply scale on them. Then I'm going to change the bevel add there. Then select these edges and Ctrl B add bevel. This bevel is more curved bevel. So here I have increased the segments little bit and bevel width is little bit more. So I will get more curved form. Then second one, it is a medium. So just add a bevel on these edges. And you can see I have used just two bevel segment add there. Then select this edge. And here I want very small bevel. So I have used the two bevel segment and I have kept less bevel width. So I got this kind of form at their design. Now just apply this boolean modifiers on them. You should keep one thing in the mind while adding the bevel, at least in the subd modeling. Keep less segments for your bevel because you are going to subdivide it later on. And now you need to create the right topology. You need to apply the rotation on all the models. So it will be more easier for you take the symmetry and I have deleted those side circular faces for all these cylinders. Then you can work on this first model. You can use the knife tool and you can create the loop structure around this design. It's that detail and it's not difficult. Simple thing. One thing is there with the cylindrical form. You can add as many loop cuts as you want at least in one axis without destroying its form. So use it as your advantage to create the right topology. Here I can't add the loop cuts in the horizontal axis means that x axis but I can add loop cuts as many as I want along the y axis. So I can use that as my advantage. And when you are going to merge the words at that time you also need to know that that you are not going to destroy that cylindrical form. So that's why you need to merge the words on that another axis on which you can't add more loop cuts. Means which is more important to maintain that cylindrical form. And you can see I'm adding the loop cuts along the y axis to get that right topology. I'm not adding the loop cuts along the x axis because it will destroy the cylindrical form of the model. And simple I have created that topological structure loop structure around this shape that design you can refine your topology as much as you want you can try to create the cordless topology it's totally depend on you and if you're keeping some triangles also and you're getting good form good shading that's also fine sometimes the triangles are also important to create the right design you can adjust the position of your edges little bit and then you can take the symmetry and then select these faces and use a small insert operation. You can see there is a little bit of weird shading. Just delete these extra edges. And you can see we have got that curved decent bevel design on the first model. Which looks really well. Let's come to the next design. Which is more simple. Medium curve. Same thing. Same process. Same steps you need to perform. Select watch and merge them in a proper way. I need to select this edge loop and I can use the edge slide and then I can merge the words. Then here I can add one loop cut and I can connect these words. Then I will use the knife tool and I will create cut in this way. And I will try to create the loop structure around this boolean detail. Just observe the process carefully. You will learn a lot. You can see the way I am merging the words. 
I'm trying to maintain that curve cylindrically form as well as that curve bevel detail. I have dissolved that edge and I have used the edge slide add there and I can connect these edges. So I got that card add there. And you can see the loop structures which I have got add there. And you can take the symmetry, which symmetrites. And then you can connect these words just to refine your topology. You can add the sub D modifier. You can see the face loops which I have got on the model and then you can select the faces and you can use the small insert operation and now you can see I've got this different design and here this is also simple here I have keep less bevel width so that's why I've got this kind of design same thing you need to select the words and you need to merge them properly and you need to create the loop structure around that design that detail you can add as many loop cuts as you want along the y-axis and it is not going to destroy the cylindrical form of that model and then merge the words in this way then you can use the knife tool and start to create that loop structure And you can see easily we have created this three different design on the same model. So what is the conclusion of the video? First thing, keep less segments for your bevel, at least in the sub D modeling. Second thing, if it's the cylindrical form, you can add as many loop cuts as you want, at least along the one axis and use it as your advantage to create the right topology. So that's it for today. If you didn't subscribe to our YouTube channel, then please subscribe it. And if you want to support this channel, then you can join the membership. Bye bye. So the next video, take care. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world fell small.